Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out here at the range today, and I have brought this 300 Blackout. This is actually a Savage Axis 2, I believe, and 300 Blackout. Bass Pro has a deal with this type of camo stock. Heavier barrel, pick them up on Black Friday for uh, pretty low uh, deals. And the whole purpose of this video, guys, is to compare subsonic 300 blackout versus some supersonic let's get right to it first i'm going to show you everything i'm using here then we're going to chronograph them and then we're going to bring out the clay and see the splody bits between subsonic and supers check this out let me show you everything up close here all right so like i said this is a savage axis in 300 blackout it's got a pretty heavy barrel it is 16 inches and some change and on the end, I have my Banish 30 Gold can on there. Definitely going to be quiet, especially in the subsonic stuff. You just about won't hear it. On top, this uh, optic actually came with it. This is a Bushnell Banner Dust to Dawn 3 to 9 by 40. Pretty standard. Uh, I've got some Wheeler rings on there. And now here's the real interesting part here. For the subsonics... I'm using Hornady's Sub X rounds. Give you a good look at what that looks like. It has that red tip on there. And these are, I might as well show you the box, the 190 grainers. Supposed to be going somewhere around 1,000 feet per second. That is our subsonic example. Now the supers. Let me show you what we're working with for the supersonics. This is the Liberty Overwatch. 300 blackout it is a 96 grain and it should be going somewhere around 2500 feet per second so you tell me which would you rather take a deer with the fast hollow point why is this not staying now or the slow i guess you could kind of call that a tipped hollow point but let's see what happens let me run get the chronograph out all right first one through the chronograph is this hornady subsonic and i'm only at about two or three yards here so it should be pretty close to what we would see for muzzle velocity definitely quiet what did we get so real close to advertised velocity that says 1043 feet per second now let's try these faster ones all right now we're gonna do these 96 grain liberty overwatches same distance let's see what kind of speed we get should be a difference in the sound here that's for sure oh yeah and that's pretty close to advertised velocity too 2515 feet per second so we got the speeds now 1043 feet per second with these babies 2500 some with these babies what was that 2515 all right now i'm back at 20 yards that's where we were talking about you know in the woods eastern u.s whitetail 20 yards essentially bow range got that piece of clay uh right there see my camera on it and uh dead center see what happens to it it'll be pretty quiet That was pretty quiet. We made a big hole. Let's go check it out. All right, so here's the front side. I had it tilted slightly so the sun would hit the front of it the way the sun is in the sky right now. I'm going to tell you right now, essentially, same thing, same damage as a 45 ACP. So you can see the, the red tip there is actually 
right there in the shade. Probably hard for y'all to see that. There's that red tip there in the center. And I mean, it made a hole. It made a hole there. Come around this side, we had a pretty center hit. Back side's maybe slightly bigger than the front side, but yeah, you guys get the idea. All right, now we're gonna see what happens with the supersonic, same distance, 20-ish yards, 20, 25, give or take a few. Been waiting all week to film this and get it done ever since I had the idea. See what happens. Yeah, it's gonna be a shade louder. Try to do my best to hit it square center again. That rained clay for five seconds. That was cold. I hope it didn't land on my truck. Uh, yeah, big difference. That's a supersonic. All right, guys, so that was pretty ridiculous. So I don't know how good it's gonna show in the footage, but I'm not kidding. It rained clay in every direction behind the target, in front of the target for a good five seconds, literally. Do, 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 it probably through that clay, I don't know, 50 feet high or something. But let's just see what happened with the clay. So, like I said, uh, same distance. You guys saw the slow motion. I did my best to hit center, and it appears that I did. So, get eye level with it. Essentially, pancaked it. The top half, gone. And the bottom half, pancaked completely went kablooey. Now, when we have that side-by-side -side look, what would you rather chase a deer with? That or this? This is going to cause major shock. Major, major shock. That is going to cause a little bit of shock and put a hole in it, maybe. Supersonic. That's that Liberty Overwatch subsonic. That's that Hornady sub X. Again, both in 300 blackout. I can tell you right now, if I'm deer hunting and I don't want to have to track that deer and I really don't want to lose that deer, I'm picking this every single time. Every single time. Supersonic 300 blackout if you're using it for hunting. I set out to show what I was hoping would show in the clay. My uh, direction, my suggestion remains the same. I do not suggest that you ever hunt with subsonic ammunition, especially on big game. If you want to go after some rabbits and some squirrels with subsonic 22s, more power to you. But for big game, medium sized game, I will never tell you that it's a good reason to go after them Got an ant biting me with uh, subsonic ammunition. Unless you have some super, super reason to hunt with it, like you need to be real quiet and you have a can, uh, there's no reason for it. You guys heard it there in the tape, hopefully. With this can on there, again, that's my Banish 30 Gold. Even the supersonic was pretty quiet. 100% hearing safe. But let me pop up a visual side-by-side -side split screen of both of these getting hit at the same time and that'll give us a good side-by-side -side comparison check it out Real quick reminder, guys, if you haven't checked out the new site, definitely go check it out. The blog, all kind of extra articles that I'm writing go up on the website. And if you are subscribed to the Hootie Hoot newsletter, you're automatically entered for a bunch of giveaways. We've already given away Vortex Optics, shirts, hats, 
and other stuff I can't even remember. If anything, definitely make sure you're signed up for the newsletter over on hootiehoo.com. Let's get back to the video. So pretty cool, but hey, appreciate y'all watching. Again, comparing the Liberty Overwatch 300 Blackout against the Hornady Subsonic. I don't see any reason for hunting with the Subsonic. I think these Sub X's are more at the range, real quiet. Um, when you have the option of supers, I will pick supers every time for hunting. Now, if I'm at the range, hey, I'm going subsonic all day. Uh, but yeah, that's just me. Appreciate y'all watching. I absolutely love this rig. Bolt action, Savage Axis in the 300 Blackout. I dig it. Appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys on the next one. Who